Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Line of God's Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to go ahead and read you a chapter from the Bible. Today, I will be continuing the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 65. I am sought of them that asked not for me. I am found of them that sought me not, I said. Behold me, behold me, unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts, a people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificeth in gardens, and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things in their vessels which say, Stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains, and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom, Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, so will I do for my servant's sake, that I may destroy them all, that I may not destroy them all. And I will bring forth the seed out of Jacob, and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and mine elect shall inherit it, and my servant shall dwell there, and Sharon shall be a fold of flocks, and the valley of Achor a place for the herds to lie down in, for my people that have sought me. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of, of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen, for the Lord God shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name, that he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth, and he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hid from mine eyes. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create, for behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people, and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old, but the sinner being an hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses, and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not trouble. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and the dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, saith the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I, of course, like this verse here in Isaiah, you know, regarding the analysis of this chapter. In Isaiah 65, 9, the verse reads, And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, 
and mine elect shall inherit it, and my servant shall dwell there. So that idea, I think that that could be a reference to Lord Jesus Christ. I'll have to ask on my on Google. I have to confirm on Google. Yes, it is. It is, in fact, uh, an elect, uh, a, a, a reference to Jesus, I believe. And and then the next thing here that we see here is one of my fa my favorite passages is here in Isaiah sixty five twelve, talking about the wrath of God. There's another passage I want to show after. I want to first focus on Isaiah sixty five twelve. Therefore will I number you to the sword. And ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. So very powerfully, that idea being that we can see here God offering a consequence for those who disobey him. You know, when we look all the way from the beginning of Genesis through the whole history of the world, when man disobeys God, what happens? He's, he's given a consequence. God tells Adam and Eve, if you, you can eat from any tree from this garden other than the tree of good and evil, uh, of the knowledge of good and evil, if you eat from this tree of knowledge of good and evil, you will die. So what happens? The serpent deceives Eve and she eats. Why? Because of the original sin that she has. That she thinks, when the serpent says, ye shall be as gods, she thinks that by eating from this tree she can be as God, but she can't. Why? Because, for example, when you look at the Christ who is God, he never disobeyed God. So Eve has already gone and disobeyed God. And now what does Adam do? Adam, knowing, knowing that if he eats this apple, he will die, eats the apple and condemns man to death from there on out. And that is just the first example of God offering a consequence to those who disobey him. And so we see that again here as another beautiful depiction of the justice of God. Next, we look at this other passage here, which is very beautiful to me here. This is foreshadowing of a lot of what is depicted in the book of Revelation. So you can see here in You can see here in Isaiah 65, 17. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. So that idea there being that God is, you know, in referencing in the, in the book of um, Revelation, Uh, Lord Jesus brings down new heaven and new earth and its its depiction is just incredibly beautiful incredibly beautiful here you can see it here and had a great wall and high and had 12 gates and at the gates 12 angels and names written thereon which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel and the wall, them skipping verses. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs. The length and breadth and the height of it are equal. So that's a fifteen hundred mile by 1500 mile city 1500 miles that's new new uh, jerusalem and it says and the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of stones oh excuse me here let me, let me this verse is just so beautiful revelation 21 18 and the building of the wall of it was of jasper and the city was of pure gold like unto clear glass i mean that depiction as in revelation is first, um, you can see here, mentioned here in Isaiah 65, where Isaiah writes of how God says, For behold, I, I, I create new heavens and a new earth. That same exact syntax is used in Revelation, I believe. And the former shall not be remembered. So think about everything that was from the, the previous time won't be remembered, uh, nor come into mind. Why? Because it will be new heaven and new earth 
for those who be worthy of everlasting life. And so with that now, I'll go ahead and end the Bible analysis there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dive video. Since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I worked at my core, I uploaded and scheduled five workout videos, and I've created this Daily Dive video for 12-31-23. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.